everybody happy monday it is november 1st can you believe we are we are officially beyond calendar time into fall and the weather here in texas has finally turned fall but it is still absolutely gorgeous out um thank you everybody for tuning in today you know what today is it's the first of the month for those who are new to the channel every first of the month i bring this type of video which is the sewing buzz i bring you all of the latest pattern releases which is usually um i'm just talking indie patterns um anything Thing that's going on in the creative community sewing community that type thing I'll bring that maybe it's a tool maybe it's something else uh, something like that and also what I typically do is always have an S&D sewing chat what is that at the end of this video usually I have an interview <clears throat> that I have with someone from the creative community that you may or may not have heard of or maybe you did have heard of them and you want to learn a little bit more about them or something like that those usually come up after I'm done with the um, new pattern releases however unfortunately this month the person that I had things planned with didn't quite work out so we will probably try them again um, perhaps in 2022 we shall see how the schedule goes for those who don't know my December sewing um, buzz with the SD sewing chat that um, will be my final SD sewing chat of 2021 uh the december 1st one so make sure you are stay tuned for that um it is a fun one and so um that that one will be definitely be a good one it's a fun one you guys will be uh very excited about that one but um come january february march I will not have an SND sewing chat. I know I've kind of been saying this every month during the sewing buzz, but that's just to prepare you guys because I've been getting a lot of wonderful comments and everything on the sewing buzz. People have been enjoying the SND sewing chats, um, especially, but I will not have an SND sewing chat um, for uh, the first quarter of 2022. Um, there still will be the sewing buzz, the monthly sewing buzz, the first of the month, but not an SND sewing chat because as you all know, I am gearing up for BHM Pattern Designers Challenge, which I actually have on my t-shirt today. Um, BHM Pattern Designers Challenge, which I host every year. Um, it'll be the fourth year, can you believe it, coming up in February, which is also my birthday month. Um, but between, it's been since late summer, even now, and all the way through March. Um, usually by the time, you know, uh, uh, winners have been selecting all that. I'm exhausted. So <laughs> March, <clears throat> there will not be an S&D sewing chat, but there will be the S&D sewing chat brought back into the um, swing of things come uh, April, either April or May. I'll have to see, um, depending on how the schedule goes. So that's what's been going on. I am gearing up. Um, you will begin to hear more. If you have not gotten on my So Natural Dane newsletter list, make sure that you do. I'll leave the website here and a link down below um, because yes, there are new fabrics and I have been finalizing the, the illustrations and everything for the new fabrics um, that um, I have coming out. And so if you're on the newsletter list you will see what those are first and um, have an opportunity to purchase those which will be through um, spoon flower um, you all know I said I'm not cutting fabric that no that's not my ministry that's not my lane that was a lot of work and I told you guys that um, at the end of the uh, BHM pattern designers this year it was just way too much work for me and so <laughs> I'm just gonna allow you to purchase the fabric through a spoon flower on the fabric base that you so choose but the there are some good ones and i'm playing around with bringing back the designs as well from last year and so but i have to work some things out um in the background um for all of that so but anyway I will, um, you'll hear more about that. So make sure if you're, again, have not subscribed to a newsletter, do so. Um, cause you're, you will hear about all of that stuff first. But if you're new to the channel, also consider subscribing and don't forget to thumbs up this video on your way out. I would greatly appreciate it. And it also help others see it changes, you know, the algorithm here on YouTube. It just, 
and it helps so it's free to you go ahead and thumbs up the video so what will we be going over today since we don't have an s d sewing chat so i have several things um i will be going over the new pattern releases for this month um the second thing i will be going over there were some questions there was a video uh i think it was early last month i had talked about tell me in the comments um why you subscribe to the channel different things you want to see on the channel other content what you like on the channel different stuff like that and then if anybody had questions so there were a couple questions that i will get to one i get asked all the time and i think i always say i was going to answer it which is a, about how do i balance working full-time um youtube channel um and the other business um that i have and so i will answer that um because i get that a lot um and then i will show you my haul my mini haul from the quilt festival so if you missed my video from yesterday i will post that up there it was a vlog you guys know i don't do vlogs um i couldn't think of what it was but it was it's vlogmas um where you um post a video you record and post a video every day every day posting thing took me out and i said no I, ca I can't be about that everyday posting life that is too much uh two to three videos a week is good for me so mondays and wednesdays always stay locked and loaded for 10 a.m central standard time that's when you will see my videos every sunday and wednesday except for days like this where it's the first of the month whatever day that day falls on that's when you'll get the video so what is coming up on the channel i want to tell you real quick um stay tuned for wednesday i do have a commercial pattern haul um that i'll be sharing with you so stay tuned for that i have and then the uh uh, Sunday that was, that's Wednesday coming up so Sunday coming up I will have my 2021 summer mood board lookbook so everything that I've made for my summer mood board you will see in kind of different ways you know I kind of styled it kind of composing some um, videos and give you my final thoughts on that whole process which I have quite a few thoughts and then I will have for you I'm looking at my notes because one of the things people mentioned in that video they don't mind seen a recap of everything I've made in the previous month because again I can appreciate everybody can watch every single video I put up I understand because I can't watch everybody's video that they put up but um, I will have a video a recap of everything I made in the month of October and then I will come in with my 2021 fall winter mood board which is based around the color purple all the inspirational looks all the patterns have all been selected um, and all of the fabric um, I have a lot of the fabric but then there are some fabrics a couple of them are out of stock and so you know I just kind of saved it but anyway it's not gonna stop me from sharing with you all of the purple goodness and then I'm gonna come in with a video because the fabrics that I'm choosing for my 2021 fall winter mood board um, is purple I do have other purple fabric in my stash so I kind of just want to share my whole purple fabric stash so you can um, see that um, and maybe help give me some ideas on you know what you see I could do um, out of some of those fabrics and then I will have my um, I'm working on some things for my husband haven't made him anything in a good minute so um, he has a couple things coming up that I will be sharing for those who like to watch things that are made for men I will have that coming up so let's go ahead and um, jump into it so I want to start out by saying remember these patterns were all released in the month of October I always link down below where you can get the patterns but I also highly suggest for a lot of these um, companies not everybody when they do a pattern release but a lot of them get on their newsletter list because anytime they release patterns again not all of them do this but quite a few 90% do um, they will have the pattern on sale for like a week or something and then you can get the pattern um, you know right away and so um, but anyway for those who are who are newer to sewing and patterns and all that different stuff and um, trying to get to know different pattern companies and stuff so um, you can definitely check the description box to see the link to the patterns um, so the first thing I want to do sewing buzz again about someone in the sewing community I just want to give a shout out to Katie Cortman um, if you all follow her many of many of us do already follow her over on Instagram you know she um, is on project run 
runway this season of Project Run uh, Runway. Um, so shout out to her and congrats to uh, Katie. Um, I have been recording. I haven't had a moment to sit down and watch any of the episodes, but I have recorded all of them. I think this might be week four. I don't know. The day that you're seeing this on November 1st. I, I don't, I really don't know. Could be three or four, but at any rate, um, so for those who already follow uh, Katie Cortman, you already know that. Um, and I actually feature one of her uh, fabric designs because she did a collaboration with fabric.com on some fabric and I made the Caledium jumpsuit. Um, and so yeah, in her one of her fabrics. So it was kind of cool to know that, oh, this somebody who, you know, has ended up on Project Runway. So yeah, if you've been watching, let me know what you think. No spoilers, but just let me know what you think. Um, so let me go ahead and jump into it. It's not a lot of new that stood out to me. You all know that. I share pattern releases that um, kind of stand out to me. I don't share every single pattern that's been released under the moon in the month of October, but um, I share those that I thought, A, that you would be interested in, that I'm excited about, or, you know, um, that I thought were really good. So let's start out with first Rebecca Page pattern. So this, I already did an entire video. Um, actually, it was my video from last Wednesday. I will leave a link up to it up above here in the iCards. Um, go back and watch that video. I go over all of the new um, patterns that were re-released by uh, Rebecca Page patterns, the curvy line. And I went over the sizing, all of that good stuff. So make sure you go back and check that out plus i pattern tested the re-release of the laura so make sure um you go check that out and um, check out that video but rebecca page also released two other patterns in the month of october one is a real good one it's a coat and um you must go see um on instagram the versions um the tester versions and everything of this coat this is a really nice coat if i still live in a state where uh Wisconsin where it snows and all that I, I would make this I would totally make this I'm not making this living in Texas I would never wear it um, but I like this coat It's long it's called the puffer coat let me just um, give you uh, some of the um, dimensions on it. it's loose fitting and remember the sizing uh, Rebecca page sizing is size inclusive even um, with that curvy line it's even more size inclusive but it's a loose fitting puffer coat has raglan sleeves uh, with rib cuffs which I thought was nice so when at least for me when I lived in colder states I liked ribbed cuffs just because when I wear gloves I don't have to worry about pushing the glove up under an open sleeve that if it's a cuff I can just throw my glove on and you know all of this because I get cold really easy so it's nice when all of this um, can be covered um, it has a, a detachable three-piece hood which is nice a high collar um, of course to keep the chin warm and you know cold 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 plus there are plenty of pocket options um, in addition um, you can also do patch pockets and side seam pockets as an addition um, and so yeah, that is a really good one. And you got to go check out the looks for that. Um, like I said, if I lived in a colder climate, I would totally make it. But no, I'm not making it. But I do like, I really do like that coat. Um, the next one, the, the one I released earlier in the month was the classic blouse pattern. You probably see me mention that on my um, Instagram if you follow or on my community tab here. Um, another great wardrobe staple. Very, I think it's um, beginner friendly because her instructions are really, really good and it's not overly complicated or anything. So definitely check out the puffer coat as well as the classic blouse and go check out my video where I show you all the re-releases because it's like eight or nine patterns I can't remember off the top of my head but go check that video out I will leave links to everything that I'm mentioning in this video down in the description box some I think I only have one affiliate link uh, but 
at any rate you'll see everything listed down in the description box but if you have any questions definitely also leave that in the comment section um shout out to miss mondi's actually i have on her head wrap mondi's threads if you follow her here over here on youtube and on instagram you know that she um, makes head wraps i have purchased this from her she also has a pattern on her etsy site um to make this but um at any rate i have on her um head wrap but um she has released her first pattern which is the um ankara cami maxi dress now it is meant for the the main fabric requirement is ankara fabric however um she also say other fabric suggestions which you already know in this type of uh this type of style this type of dress you can make it in other types of cottons different things like that um so you do have options and so it has three lengths a top a midi and a maxi length with the option to add a belt and pockets which is really nice we all know how you all love pockets and her sizing goes up to a 3x which goes up to a bust size of 57 inches which is awesome so i will leave a link down below because you will see and you can also widen the straps i do know that i remember her saying that on one of her instagram posts as well so don't be intimidated by that but look at the tester versions um you'll see that on the link that i put down below it's a link to purchase the pattern but um <clears throat> you'll scroll down and see the tester versions it's always nice to see someone make something that's on different shapes and sizes and you can kind of visualize how it might look on you or what you think about it um, based on those visualizations so yeah congratulations to miss mondi definitely go check that out um the designer stitch uh released the quran i believe it's the quran quran I could be pronouncing that uh, uh, wrong. Dress in tunic or dress or tunic. Now this is very retro to me, very retro. When I initially saw it, I was like, mm, that just looked too retro. But here's what you always gotta do. Look at that line drawing and look again. I will harp on look at the tester versions because the tester versions and the line drawing, as you look and study it, you know it's, it's like okay this is a good one plenty color block options plenty color block options and i can totally see wearing a turtleneck up underneath or a cow neck up underneath it depending on how you what kind of fabric you use different things like that i think it's a very good uh wardrobe staple and very even though it's sleeveless like i said putting that on over a um a turtleneck or something like that that would definitely um, be cute in some, and even in the description it talked about, you know, putting on some tights and boots and everything with it. I think that would be so cute. And then a jacket, yeah, it still works. It definitely still works. Um, and the next uh, one is so over it, released their ultimate jeans pattern. And so I know many of you absolutely love so over it patterns. And so you will be happy to know that she has released um, the uh, jean pattern. And I want to say, oh, if you follow so over a channel, you know that um, for her uh, patterns, at least over the past couple years, she's done sew alongs for them. I can't remember off the top of my head if there's a sew along up for the Ultimate Jeans or if it's coming up. I don't remember, but at either rate, I'm sure she will do a sew along or have done it already. But I'll link down to the pattern down below. And remember, so over it does go, um, their sizing has increased and everything. So make sure you uh, definitely check them out if you want to try the sew over jeans um the next one is the chalk and notch orchid dress now i thought this was so pretty so so pretty it's a wrap bodice um with a midi length skirt and so i just thought this was really cute um the sleeves i like how the sleeves had the low the ruffles on them which seems to be on patterns a lot i've noticed a lot over this past year and it's a really nice look i do like that look and a view b has long sleeves with the gathered uh uh, cape and wrist um, and so you do have a combination it says for the waist to have elastic and drawstring to define the waist and so yeah I thought this was really nice a very nice pattern and I made a chalk and notch pattern before I can honestly say their instructions are really good um, as well 
couple things I want to throw in for my bag makers. So you all know I made a couple patterns by Lavender and Twine last month. It was the Moonwake as well as the Zypher wallet. And so she has released last month, it was towards the end of the month, um, the, uh, what is it called? The Salon, Salasta convertible bag. And um, I know this bag, this bag is just so cute. It's nice and versatile. You see, you can wear it in the backpack version. If you go on the website, you can really dig into all of the different versions that was made up of this. But um, one thing I will say about Lavender and Twine is that her videos are really good. And I know a lot of you have been leaving comments about, oh, I need to try bags. I want to try bags and all of this and being intimidated. Well, Lavender and Twine, once again, come her patterns come with a sew along video and they are really good I can't speak to that they are good at least the ones I've done so far they are really good um, the next one is the Adina laptop bag and this is by Kaya Papaya Designs isn't that name cute but anyway um, but when I saw this pop up I was like, this is so cute. It is so sleek. Um, many people still have to head into the office um, and do work. Or this is, say you are hit, you just need to go somewhere, travel, and you need to have your laptop with you. Here's a nice little sleek bag that you can have and uh, put your laptop in. It does, um, it say, just so you all know, it is designed, I will say that it is designed to be made on a, it says on the website, an industrial machine. However, I would definitely consider the types of fabrics that you're using. And I will also, I'm sure there's a lot of parts that are, are thick, but also consider um, the interfacing. Remember I told you for interfacing for handbags and wallets, you do not put that interfacing in the seam allowance because it just makes everything so much more bulky um, and everything. So you will have to take that into consideration, but I just thought the look of this, it has a pleated front pocket, a flap edge with the trim, the straps and the buckles, everything. I like the little flip lock, the turn lock um, on there too as well. It's a really nice bag. I thought it looked very nice and chic. And so those are the two handbags. Now back to um, garments. Sophilia Studio released the teamy dress. Or is it the, I hope I'm saying that right. The teamy dress and to me it's a very vintage looking type dress but it has a very modern edge to it and I do like how she styled it well one version she posted on her Instagram is as a top and I really like that top version it looked really good um but it, it features a front lap, lap lapel that wraps um wrap top on on the top half and then the bottom half is a half circle skirt which is really nice and it, the uh, circle skirt has a button placket and a drop shoulder puff sleeve so i thought this entire look was really nice and her sizing um is two different um size options that you can choose from but she do go up to a size 36 very nice size inclusive pattern and i want to say this is her second or third third pattern that she has released to date so congratulations and so um yeah go check out uh, the teamy dress then we have style arcs uh edie woven dress pattern um i really like this this is a uh um kind of that whole jumpsuit combination jumpsuit look but I liked it um, because it looks very relaxed it, it doesn't look form-fitting looks very relaxed it looks as if you'll be able to get in and out of it very easily if you did decide to do the um, my camera cut off if you did decide to do the uh, jumpsuit version it does look like you can get in and out of it relatively easy and so um, yeah I thought this was really nice very relaxed fit um, and with the elastic waistline and everything i thought this was a really nice one so i thought i know a lot of y'all like jumpsuits so i brought that one um then we have the friday pattern company the patina blouse um so for me again this is one of those where it was all about me looking at the not only the line drawing but also the other versions that were sewn up 
in the pattern. When I saw kind of the puff sleeve and how it gathered into the cuff and everything, so nice. So this is a really nice pattern. And um, it's a nice V-neck. Um, of course, it buttons all the way up to the top. And again, it you do have the option to do short sleeves, but I did like the long sleeve that kind of puffed out. And it wasn't a big puff. It was just ever so slightly into a cuff. Now for me, I don't typically make um, a lot of long sleeves. Um, I never really like wearing a lot of different long sleeve tops, um, but I can see maybe if it looking at the pattern piece, maybe it can be puffed into um, a sleeve that's much shorter um, than all the way down to the wrist. It will have I will have to look at that, but I thought that was a really nice pattern. The last pattern I want to tell you about is from Itch to Stitch. It's the Varzim um, overalls. Now, this one, I, I had to look at it like three, four, five, six times. I didn't care for it the first time I glanced at it. And um, then I started again looking at the line drawings and I was like, oh wow, this these have some nice little details to them. And then um, I didn't, in time for this video, get permission from the lady. Um, but in Itch to Stitch Facebook group, it was a, a lady that posted her version in this pink floral it was so cute that was like almost the the best version i saw of it so far of the overalls i thought it was so cute i was like oh yeah i'm i'll share this because you know depending on the pattern depending on what you like to wear sometimes you just gotta see it in different ways and then once you see the line drawing you're like okay yeah i can see that but it was this this that floral print that she did and it wasn't a big floral it was a nice uh small smaller uh floral print it was just so cute and it was pink so so cute so that is it everybody that that is the wrap up of the um new pattern releases now I am going to get into a couple questions that I received um, from my previous video. Okay, so starting with um, just a couple things off the top. These will go really quick. Um, one was uh, people love seeing pattern hauls. You love seeing fabric hauls. You like to know where I get my notions from. Uh, different things like that. Notions for hardware, uh, bras, all of that. So that was mentioned. And so what I said I would do, um, I thought I did this clearly anyway, but maybe I haven't. I will make a point to be more, you know, make sure I'm just being more specific. Um, in videos, when I make things, I will be um, listing every, as much as I can remember, because some things are just in my stash. But um, I always, I know I always list, talk about the fabric. Um, but I will be sure to say where I got the fabric from, the notions um, from, especially for bras and um, for handbags. I know that was a big thing, but I will be sure in future videos to make sure that um, I have that information. And so I'm glad you all enjoy the pattern hauls and everything. I have a commercial pattern haul coming up on Wednesday, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, and overall, the comments were just really, really good. Um, and then one of the questions that I had received was, uh, how do I balance it all? How do I um, do YouTube, um, work full time, all of the things? So I don't. That's the short answer to the question. I don't balance it all. What I do, and I've said this before on um, previous videos, is those things that you enjoy doing, you make time to do. And so I manage my time. And I've also said this, um, YouTube for me is another stream of income. Another, it's not my main stream of income. There are many YouTubers where this is a main stream of income for them um, and, and all of that, but it's not for me, it is one stream of income I'm a person who believes in multiple streams of income and so it's one stream of income and while I know I don't know what people's thoughts are in particular um, on that and oh if you're not doing it full-time like it's your nine to five it's not a you know another source of income it's not a job uh, yes it is I pay taxes 
all the time. <laughs> so for all of my businesses, I have to pay taxes on a quarterly basis. Um, and revenue that's earned from YouTube is paid on an annual basis. So yes, it is um, income. It is another job. Um, it's just there's a certain amount of time that I choose to allocate to this particular stream of income. And so for me, I am a planner. I tend to plan things out. Um, I write things out on the calendar. It does not mean everything I write out will happen, but I tend to do what I call a brain dump. There's a lot of stuff that goes on up in between this here, this nugget, and um, I can't do it all. I know I can't do it all. You all might see on the other end like, oh, she always got the video up. She always making something. Um, Y'all, I am in the background working on different things at different times so when it's when i'm not necessarily sewing i'm still showing you things that i have made when do i find time to sew for me it's mainly on the weekends and in the evenings now caveat because i have the type of job where i am not micromanaged i am a manager myself and i do have people that report to me i don't micromanage um but our company our culture in particularly of our department um our um, manager now that we are full-time work from home she uh tells us she is of the mindset that as long as we get our work done and what we need to do she does not have and pretty much nobody in our company expects anybody to be sitting at a computer for eight hours straight and quite frankly i don't think anybody do anybody that works from home you all get up and go to the bathroom you all get up and um go have lunch or something like that you you walk away um at some point um and so there are jobs out there obviously that you are moving around and doing stuff for um eight or more hours in a day but um for me that's just how um i am blessed that that is my current situation uh where i am working now and so um but again i manage my time we have i have deadlines it we were swamped um towards the end of the summer beginning of the fall and now it's getting into the holidays things kind of get a little quiet before it ramps back up so i um capitalize on that uh when i can and so um but i also have content that although not as consistent as this channel on my the fabric boutique my other business i'll leave a link up to it in the i cards um i do try to get content up over there that business i tend to do when do i manage that and do things for that business usually that's more in person stuff because it is a christian faith based business i usually try to do things at christian conferences in person things stuff like that um for that business so that is more structured where i know when stuff is coming up or when it's going to happen and i know when i need to do stuff so then i can manage my time like that but things like um so natural dame where i know i'm bringing videos every sunday and wednesday or the first of the month like this month again i have to manage that out and i do not always hit the mark by no means sometimes even though you guys can't tell i have gone two to three weeks without sewing um and it's just because I had sewn a lot, I had a lot to talk about, and that's what I did. Or I'm showing other things on the channel during that time. So hopefully that answers your question um, about this. And so again, um, and for me with YouTube, another question I got about, um, you know, uh, uh, the different content and the amount of videos and stuff I put up quite honestly and i and i try to encourage people this way too if you want to start a youtube channel do start a youtube channel don't get caught up on the type of camera you have i started on my phone and all of that and um if you find that it's a trigger for you do not put up your subscriber number at the bottom of um your videos you will see i do not show my subscriber count for what who is that for it's for me so i know where i'm at <laughs> but a lot of people get caught up and won't start youtube channels because they think oh they have 5,000 subscribers they got 10,000 oh they got 30 they got 50 they got 100,000 oh it's gonna take forever for me to get there i'm gonna have to put up a video every single day or i'm gonna have to do da -da 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 -da. don't get caught up in what everybody else is doing um focus on what you enjoy and bring it from your heart your place of truth and go there and it'll it will come it will grow um 
it may take some time um, it may not you can go from one to 1,000 in a month you never know and so um, just I said go forward and um, don't get caught up in oh I put up a video and only 20 people saw it in the first four hours who cares put up your video it doesn't matter put up your video so I hope that answered that question about how do I balance it all. I don't. I just choose to manage my time, um, schedule things out um, as best I can. If I miss something, I miss something. Um, but when I'm ahead, that's even better. So now let me get into this quick haul from the quilt festival. All right, everybody. So I only have a couple things. So this is this part will not take long. I know this was a chatty video, but I am going to share with you what I picked up from the quilt quilt festival i took you along again if you did not see that video that was yesterday so go back and um, catch it as i said i was just absolutely floored by the artistry everything of those quilts now usually when i'm seeing things about quilts i'm not a quilter i'm not into quilts that type thing but um when i see quilts up until this point i always had appreciation for what looks like a lot of work piecing things together all this different stuff but when i went to the quip festival and you see portraits that that took me all the way out because i'm thinking how does the brain even do that and then you got to piece everything together make sure everything is the right shade i will um share a couple pictures pop up a couple pictures here where i was just floored at the it was just pure art i just loved it love love i want to go again for sure next year um because that art of those quilts was fantastic but i did pick up a few things you saw i visited thanks i made it um um from uh bianca uh from instagram and so uh go back and watch that because you'll see i visited her booth and all of that but let me show you real quick what i picked up um you'll notice a couple of these things because it was um in the video but one of the things i picked up this is called a Ma magna fingers um it's a magnetic pickup tool that releases and so let me see if i can hold this card up so this is what it does so you pick everything up and then you lift up the little tab and then it releases so um it goes like this so you run everything across so if you have um pins and stuff that's fallen especially in the carpet they had a demo with a piece of carpet and a bunch of pins and, and they ran the thing across it and so I thought this was cute I can't tell you how much I pay for anything because you know how you swipe and then they send a the text to your phone and so I haven't even looked at that um, yet but um, this is made by um, it was a teen inventor I believe the young man that was in the video was the one who invented I believe that was him his hair looks much much shorter on here but they are based out of Texas I will leave a link to their website they only have a website they do not have a storefront but this is actually going to be a gift that I will be including in my mother's um, advent box which you guys will see uh, coming up I also picked up um, this from this was from africaneverything.com africaneverything.com and so you saw me go into that booth it showed everything it had handbags fans masks um, but she had these these little wallets little um, that you put on your wrist and it's just where you would put your um, um, ID in here and then um, on the back it has a little snap and um, a couple slots and so if you're you know out somewhere and that, I like the little tassel I thought this was so cute I'm thinking about giving this away as a gift to a family member but um, I thought it was so cute and I do remember this was ten dollars um, and they uh, she the the lady that was there was telling me how they raised the money and it goes it's a nonprofit um, African everything is a nonprofit um, I believe that's what she said and so um, they uh, money goes back to um those different um areas i forgot again the specific areas because i was talking to her for a while but i know ghana was one of the areas and she mentioned in kenya and a couple other areas um where money goes back to uh those areas for um for those people that uh created uh these items so i thought that was really nice um the other thing that i picked up i had to pick up some batik i got this 
from, I don't think they were based out of Houston. Villa Rosa Designs. It's a quilt shop. They are actually based out of California. Yeah, they were based out of California. Oh, this was um, $11.86 with tax. But um, I um, passed the booth and it had a lot of, well, they didn't have a lot of boutique. They had a lot of, it was called Cat Cave. Calf, K A F F E. I forgot to ask her what that was, and maybe you guys know what that means. But anyway, she had some batik, and I thought it was so pretty. You guys know I love batik for bag making, um, for lining inside a bag, a wallet, um, and for pockets. And so this is a full yard, and um, it is 45 inches wide, and so it's a full yard. And usually for batiks, because I know I'm gonna use this in a handbag or something, I don't want it I might wash this because I can't see using it in pockets and I don't want the pockets to get distorted or something after I wash the garment so I probably will wash this one um, but I thought this was so pretty and then the last thing I picked up um, is from Bianca and I uh, rocked her you would have seen the Emerson tote I'll pop up a picture again um, she had her Emerson tote as well. You know, she's the designer um, of that handbag. And I did a, a review of that bag as well. But I picked up two vintage patterns from her as well as a necklace. And so the vintage pattern that I picked up was Simplicity 9731. And so this is the pattern that I picked up. I like what drew me in was this one in particular um, with that zip, uh, the zip up but i can see it in a nice lightweight because i also like the neckline on that that one as well so i thought this was a really cute pattern and the sizing was really good so um for this um and so i was like okay yep i like it it's called time saver stretch knit um so yeah of course whenever i do um, make any of these vintage patterns i will be tracing them of course and then i picked up this is butterick it's size medium but the sizing still worked um and with the um uh what you call that the ease in the garment it it definitely worked um this is butterick three four eight six Look at that. And what drew me in was this middle one right here. But then this one, as you can tell, has that little lace overlay in there. But I thought this was so pretty. I was like, okay, spring, spring, summer next year. I'm totally seeing that. But love, love, love this. Love this version in particular. And so I was happy to pick those up. And then I have, this is... <clears throat> the necklace by um uh oh i actually just accidentally broke it whoops that was my fault i had this um i tried to take this stuff out of the bag right and i kind of dropped it and i did break it uh but I, I know how to put it back put it back together but anyway here is the necklace it says stitch I'm going to show you like this. So it says stitch. I think that is so cute. So, so cute. So I was thinking when I saw, I was like, that is so cute. I would totally wear that, um, you know, in a casual look with jeans or something like that. <clears throat> and so it just goes. I know how it goes back on here. So I can glue that back on. But yeah, that was my fault um, because I had this bag. Put your stuff away nicely once you get it. Um, <laughs> but anyway, all right, everybody, that's all I have for today. Again, I know it was a long one, but make sure you stay tuned for Wednesday. I will have a commercial pattern haul for you. It's not a long one, but it's some it's some good patterns. So those of you who like pattern hauls, stay tuned for that. And if you missed my quilt festival uh, vlog from yesterday, go check that out. But if not, I will see you guys on Wednesday. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And if there are any questions that you have um, or anything that I did not answer, definitely leave them down in the comment section below. But thank you everybody for tuning in today. I greatly appreciate it. Stay tuned for Wednesday. We'll see you then. Bye.